the most famous woman in all of South Texas, lives on a small plot of land southeast of downtown Brownsville, and her name is Pamela Taylor. She's been interviewed by most major newspapers worldwide, as well as many cable news operations, and it all started with her little sign. You see, Pamela and her husband couldn't get any assistance from local, state, or even national representatives when the wall was built between her property and the rest of America. This is her story in her own words. I can go back to 1946, but life is not like that anymore. As soon as you see people coming across, you kind of think, who are they? What are they going to do? And seeing as I'm outside of that fence, it's not protecting me at all. I am what is on the Mexican side. So basically, it doesn't do me any good. And due to the fact that my home, I have two acres of land and my little piece of land is used as a funnel for people coming across because the river is only a block and a half behind my house. And they use it as a funnel to go through the gaps in the fence that are in front of my home. And I will feed them and I put water out every night so that there will be water for anybody that wants water during our really, really hot weather. And I have felt I have to take precautions. And as I came in, I smelled aftershave lotion. And I actually thought my son-in-law was home. But no, an illegal had come into my house. He had gone into my bathroom. He had shaved, he had cleaned up, and he was sitting in that rocking chair watching the border patrol go by. People want the border wall, but I think it is a waste of money for the simple reason that wall was a fence, whatever you want to call it, was put up in 07. How did the millions and millions of illegals get into the United States if that wall is doing the job? As I told you, I put a cooler out there every night and fill it up with water and sodas for anybody. I don't care who it is that come across. I can usually tell when a whole bunch of people have come across because it will be empty in the morning. Yeah. 